Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we finished the Fuka and Desco show and recruited Des X into our party. Uh, as you can see, she's doing quite well for herself. Not quite as well as Desco, but I mean, uh, she's got the advantage of several reincarnations over her little sister. Anyway, uh, we also recruited, where is she? Sylvia, the medic. She's, uh, probably going to be a mainstay of our party as long as I, uh, care to use dancers. I don't know. Excuse me. It's a thing. So, in this episode, we are going to, uh, first of all, reset the, uh, cheat shop level. Back to zero. And then we are going to go to Time Leap. This is the uh, time travel episode starring, you know, that one character on the box art we haven't even met yet. <laughs> In spite of her being on the box, gotta wait till the post game to find her. But, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. Let's go. With the threat of the destruction of the world over, Hades returned to its usual stagnant state, and the calm was restored. Valvatoris returned to his duties as a prey instructor, training new prints without a care for anything else. Even though Archangel Flum purposefully left Artina and Hades, no progress has been made with Artina and Valvatoris' relationship. Oh no! A lone girl watches over those two, hoping to witness some kind of romantic situation between the two. Oh, this is so boring! I don't think that's gonna help very much, Fuka. Just saying. Her name is Fuka Kazumatsuri. What are they doing? When two people who obviously like each other live together, they should have at least one or two lovey-dovey encounters. Ugh, I'm going out of my way to make sure they get some alone time. Do they have any idea how hard it is to get Fen Fan away from them? Ugh, he'd be following Bowsy to the restroom if it weren't for me. Jealous puppy is jealous. <laughs> Jeez, I need to feel more love in the air. As a lovely ninth grader, a world without love is hell. Complaining about it won't help. And I make them flirt so Artina can tell me all about her romantic encounters later? Big sis, we got paid by Mr. Valsy today! Say what? No, oh, sardines, of course. <laughs> He's, uh, he's competing with all the fishermen in Dragon Quest Seven. <laughs> if he made Rosa Creamfield sardine heads, does no doubt she could Wait, eat what? Them. That sounds kind of gross, actually. The scary thing is I can see him making them. Ooh. Oh well, <laughs> at least we can make some money by selling these sardines to the printies. Sure. Is it a pocket watch? Looks that way. A pocket watch? What's it for? It's to show off how classy you are while looking at the time. Well, it isn't working. It might be broken or just out of batteries. Oh, so it's worthless. Let's go, we'll throw it out. Wait, if we can fix it, we might be able to get more money for it than from the sardines. <gasps> Do you know how to fix it, Big Sis? <laughs> Hand it over. Sometimes you can fix these things just by playing around with them. <gasps> oh, 
it started moving! You did it, big sis! Huh? It looks like it's going backwards. And really fast, too. Huh? Wait a minute! What's going on? Okay, so we are... this is going to be a long episode. Got it. Not this video, guys. I mean the story. This should work. Please answer my prayers. It's that girl that was on the cover art. We've been summoned from beyond time and space. class are you guys? I've never seen you before. Ah, it's an octopus monster! Excuse me! Dusko is not an octopus! Dusko is a final boss! What is with these people? Calling a pure and super cute girl like me a monster. These guys have no idea what popular is. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I need to give them orders. Um... Ultimate warriors that I have summoned! Fulfill the contract and send these soldiers running! It says Desko heard something. Do you think we are the ultimate warriors she's talking to? Uh, I don't mind being called that, but why should we have to fight? Oh, they aren't listening to me. Did I do something wrong? She looks confused. Just ignore her. I don't want to get dragged into her problems. Let's go find Bowser. Desko doesn't mind killing these soldiers, but she will follow Big Sis's orders. So, can you let us through? We can't allow you monsters to just leave! Hold your ground! In the name of Rekadona, we shall claim victory on this battlefield! I told you I'm not a monster! Oh, now I'm angry. Desko, let's show him just how terrifying we can be! Never provoke a little girl with a baseball bat. It, but they ended up fighting for me. I guess I didn't mess up the summoning after all. I hope you're watching this, Mom, Dad, and Big Sis. I'm gonna do my best. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got some brand new geometry. That's nice. These guys are, I guess, soldiers. Uh, fists, swords, and bows. Uh... Looks like they've got decent enough uh, uh, physical stats, but the rest kind of sucks. Attack and speed increases, HP decreases. That's interesting. Eh. These guys don't look all that special, really. Let's just clear them out. Hey, Rateel, uh, you need some experience. <laughs> Now's my chance. Oh, whoops. I never gave Lance Now's any equipment. Oh, well, he can sit this round out then. Is 
So yeah, level 1,000 humans. Uh, what has the world come to since then? Since we're obviously in the past. Then again, the, uh, the Defense Force guys and the, uh, the Prism Rangers were pretty strong in the present day, too, so I don't know. Maybe the guys in Chapter 8 are just terrible at fighting. Magitek! Yeah! Anyway, Jessica wants to know where we are. Right, well, uh, there are lots of things I still need to explain to you. But we should get away from this battlefield first. I'll tell you everything once we get to my lab. Please follow me. She's a very fast talker, by the way. And, and there she goes. And there they go. Oh wow, this looks pretty cool. Uh, let's check this place out. Bandit's hand, okay. Got the, uh... Yeah, we got the usual. What is Plain Air doing here? She must be an ancient Eldritch goddess or something. She's all the way back here in the past. Or maybe she followed us. I don't know. It's a mystery! But, uh, yeah. We got a little bit of time, so, uh, let's talk to Nagi again. I actually. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's talk to Nagi and see what's up. Dispatch intruders, obviously. Uh, to protect my mechanology spells from thieves, I guess. Um, so just don't play around in here, okay? Roger! A final boss must be able to resist temptation! So anyway, why don't you start by telling us which part of Hades we're in? Hades? You're from Hades? Does your reaction mean we're not in Hades? Well, in a way, I guess this place is sort of like Hades, except inhabited by humans. Wait, are we on Earth? How did we get here? You were chosen by my summoning spell to make my dream true. Your dream? To take over the world? N no, I want you to stop this war. Oh, yeah. Said something about that earlier. Yeah, here I thought they weren't listening. This land is a war zone between two nations. This lab lies between the Rekodona Kingdom to the south and the Goose Stark Empire to the north. Those were Rekodona soldiers earlier. I thought really hard about how I could put an end to this war, and then an idea hit me. Summon champions from the future. I like it. If we crush every battlefield and drive all the soldiers away, they wouldn't be able to continue the war. But I, I can't take on so many soldiers on my own, so I summoned you two. Understand? Yeah, I guess. 
Whew. Now let's head on over to the next battlefield. Uh, I think I'll pass. What? Why? Well, you can't summon us and just expect us to fight for you. Not to mention Desco has never heard of Rekadona or Gustark. Is this really Earth? Why won't you obey me? I'm your master, and a master's orders are supposed to be absolute. I don't really care. Can you just send us back? I mean, you can do that, right? Mm. Fine. But only after you fight with me. If you want to go back to your own world, then follow my orders. Wait! That's not fair! Stop it! Let me go! <laughs> okay. Uh... Let's see, Marching Sandstorm. Okay. Let's do this. We got time. More Rekidona soldiers, I guess. All those Rekidona soldiers are so close to the border. If we don't stop them, they're going to clash with the Gustark army. I can't let that happen. Um... I just realized I never asked you your names. My name is Fuka Kazamatsuru. I'm a ninth grader at St. Goliath Middle School. I'm just 15 years old. I am the final weapon! Death, extermination, submersible combat organism, Desco! I'm also Big Sis's little sister and a final boss. I'm gonna ignore most of what you said, but... Fifteen? Could they really be the ultimate warriors? Is this gonna be okay? I mean, she looks older than you do, Nagi. No, I can't afford to hesitate. I need to trust Father's summoning spell. Alright, Fuka and Desko, are you ready to fight? Desko's ready, I don't know about Fuka. We have no choice. I mean, we can't really get back without her. Okay, if you say so, big sis, then Desco will throw out her pride. It's so sad. Oh, there we go. After them, guys. This guy is a colonel. They got some funny names. Where's Desk? Here she is. Sis, we might as well use Fuka, right? Gonna have to uh, get her some more accelerators, though. Possibly a better weapon, too. There's no time to rest. Now we have to stop the Gustark army. According to my sources, their soldiers should be gathering just north of here. Fuka, Desko, let's hurry. What is it, like a 7 on 7 battle? What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. You shouldn't use a final boss like this. So, uh, yeah. That was a pretty short battle. I'd be curious to see how everything works. Te 
Techno magic! <laughs> Servalit would be proud. Ooh, she made a satellite. Cool. How'd she get it into space? Did she make a portal or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, check the bed for skits. Got it. How very Disgaea 5. How very Secret of Mana remake. Uh, how very I think we're done for today. So, yeah. Next time, uh, I'm gonna get Fuka trained up a little bit, uh, get her up to par with the rest of my guys, and... Then, we will take on the Goose Dark Army! I hope to see you all then. Bye-bye for now.